So what is a contrail? Well, you might see behind a plane a white line, and that's due to the water vapour that comes out of the back of the aircraft. Now, about 10 to 15 percent of airspace are regions which are about to form clouds. And if that white line passes through that region, a cirrus cloud will glow. The way the cloud formation by contrails does damage is it traps in heat to the earth. You'll know on a cloudy day, it feels warmer than when the skies are clear. And it's that trapping in of warmth that effectively causes climate warming. We believe that this is the low-hanging fruit when it comes to reducing the climate impact of aviation. So what we're calling on in Cambridge is to immediately start to set up these airspace-wide living labs where we can start to experiment, changing some flights and seeing the consequences. And this could reduce the climate impact of aviation by up to 40%. This is one of four actions that we believe need to be focused on in the next five years to put us on the course to net zero aviation by 2050. The second thing is making the whole of the aviation system work more efficiently. And we believe setting policies to drive the efficiency of the aviation system could half fuel burn by 2050. The third one is to rapidly scale truly sustainable fuel. And finally, we need a sort of Tesla moment when disruptive technologies move in and replace the incumbent technology. If we start immediately and act within the next five years, at Cambridge we believe that we can achieve net zero aviation by 2050.